Hi everyone, my name is Kim Baker and I wanted to show you how to do a clown. I'm going to actually do it on myself, so we'll see how this works out. Um, I'm going to do a white base on my whole face with diamond on back, so I'm going to spray my white and load it up. Make sure you load your sponge up really good. Don't be quick with it. My eyes last. I have pretty dark eyebrows. You want to try to lay it on good over the eyebrows so the black of my eyebrows is not standing out too much. You can also flip your sponge this way and get right under the eye. Got a few wrinkles going there. <laughs> I'm over 40, so could I say? I'm gonna do a pink nose. All right, let me set this down. to use the pink diamond effects. I didn't get quite enough paint there. Let's do a little pink nose. Circle. Right on the end. You can make it red, you can make it darker pink, whatever you think. I'm going to do my lips. I'm going to do my lips in, I think I'm going to try the metallic red diamond FX. The lips are exaggerated, so I'm going to put a circle out here. I'm going to go across my lip here. If this was a boy, I don't want to ruin what I've already done, but this is a dainty girl clown. The boy would still have the red nose instead of a pink nose, but when you would do a big mouth here, your line would kind of go come up across here, do a big circle, and then down low, and our, oops, and then around. So it's sort of like this, but exaggerated and much wider circle lines. Um, I'm going to then take a sponge. It's dry. My color is dry. I'm gonna. I, my pink is still damp from using it, so I'm going to use the coral color. I'm going to actually use this, just dab on the pink that was just a teeny bit wet. I just want the littlest bit of color for blush. You know what? That's actually working. I, I went back to using the pink that had I had already painted off of, the light pink, and uh, it was already pretty close to dry. Now, if you had done with this with wet paint, I would have big, it, would be, it wouldn't be attractive, I just would have big pink splotches instead of like a blush look. Alright, and I want to add um, purple. Get a, this is a number four round. I'm going to do purple here. decently wet. I'm going to pull down the color with a dry brush. I'm going to use a dry... You could use any dry brush. I think I'm going to use this, which is 
as the half inch flat, but you could use any round brush, something a little bigger. I tend to like something like a filbert. Here, a filbert is just a rounded one version of this. This is just a little stiffer, easier to drag color. So I'm going to add the purple, and then I'm going to take the dry brush while it's still wet and drag the color down into the white. Try not to go over the blue, the, the, the last edge. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. It looks a little prettier if you start your line up here rather than, than it going like a full circle. So here I do on my other side, down towards the edge. And immediately, I'm going to pull that color in. And I've got some of that purple on the brush that I'm pulling up. Dry brushing it in. I'm going to outline with that same purple. I'm going to outline my nose. And I'm going to add a blue star. So let me just rinse off this brush. Let's see. What color shall I use? I'm going to use metallic blue. Use whatever colors you want. I'm going to load up my brush. I'm still using the same number four. I'm going to add a star over here. Or you could add hearts, whatever you want. I'm going to add a smaller one, maybe up here. A clown face is just meant to be fun and to make people laugh and smile. So do whatever your creativity prompts you to do. I'm going to add a little sparkle on. And if you want to get into it, you could outline if you have the time. Let me pull out a... I'm looking for my a little brush here. I want my like a number one. So this is a number three. I'll just use the number three. But ideally, like a number one or a number two to do some outlining. And when your outline is star, don't outline all the points. You don't need to. It looks... you just go down and across See, so you have some of them done. Sorry, a little sloppy there. Down and across. It actually looks better when they're not all done. Um, and I just noticed that this purple is pulled down. I pulled it down a little farther. Let me just even it out. That's it. I hope you like it. <laughs>